uh, one of these brainstorming sessions we thought of hydroponics hi everyone welcome back to our channel after getting a very positive response and a lot of requests from you here we are presenting another short and insightful conversation with mr narayan pisapat welcome to episode 2 of fii talks decoding ideas this time around we will be discussing mr narayan's upcoming business model which is based on hydroponics yes guys you heard it right hydroponics hydroponics in simpler terms means soilless farming so let's get started and let's learn about this unique concept let's also learn about the challenges that mr narayan is facing and the upcoming opportunities in this space because this is a comparatively new concept uh, of hydroponics so many of our mm. viewers must not be you know aware of what it exactly is so can you just break down the concept and simplify uh, a bit oh, well hydroponics is basically soilless farming where soil is not needed what i am doing is uh, a little different so we are not using pvc we are installing uh, uh, some permanent structures to to produce what is needed we are giving water we are giving oxygen we are giving the inputs required for the plants the plants don't need soil actually plants don't need soil if they are getting all the inputs so hum log karte hain na isiliye hum log sochte hain ki soil ke bina ho hi nahi sakta hai kyun zarurat hi nahi hai wo soil ke bina bhi ho sakta hai and that is a concept we are trying to show i'll show you something that has already started it is this so into each hole we put a plant and depending upon the size of the canopy of the plant we will either uh, put plants in all the holes or we might not and water drops from the top and that is aeroponic actually not hydroponics uh, the term is aeroponics and i have improvised a little further and i'm not using the conventional pvc even uh, think we are actually getting fabricated and this is the first experiment and uh, uh, the weight is of course significant so we have to reduce the weight so another trial is going on and tomorrow i'll be getting the next sample and then we make multitude of them so uh, it's a vertical tower and in that tower so you have to pump the water and water falls onto the roots of the plant and uh, plants get nourishment required and the best part of this uh, system i thought is typical pests like bugs uh, and all that which are generally seen in the fields they grow on the soil and these bugs will not be there because it is not there on the soil to begin with soil is eliminated and uh, when we give it controlled uh measured inputs the plant is likely to survive better and give yield faster i wanted to do hydroponics uh, for a different purpose uh wherein uh your people can actually set up on their terraces and grow organically produced uh vegetables so it it serves several ways one is india is the largest producer of fruits and vegetables but our per capita consumption of fruits and vegetables is among the lowest in the global standards why because much of the uh, fruits and vegetables are uh, wasted in post harvest and handling transportation number 2 is i can produce uh, seven plants in one area which would have otherwise uh, occupied only one plant so ek podhe ki jagah pe agar saat podhe aa jate hain to aapka yield saat mein badhega और वैसे भी बिकॉज ऑफ कंट्रोल्ड इनपुट सप्लाई एंड ऑक्सीजन द प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड प्लांट हार्वेस्ट विल बी मच बेटर सो देर लॉट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव इन वर्टिकल टवर एंड वी आर वर्किंग ऑन इट ट्राइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन हार्नेस द एनर्जी मतलब जो एनर्जी यूज कर लिया है टू पंप ऑफ द वॉटर वी अगेन हार्वेस्ट इट Uh, from the uh, uh, flow down, and uh, we can design it ourselves, uh, and not those established uh, expensive ones. 
and make a uh, energy efficient uh, farming system so this is an exciting uh, proposition wherein uh, one part of the fields will be for vegetable cultivation uh, the other field other part of the uh, or other part would be for the cereals cultivation such as uh, jowar number one and we will be having another uh, one for the medicinal plants like that we have a few ideas and come out and show it to people showcase it to people and let them take it forward so this is another venture yeah understood sir thank you so much hum janna chahte hain ki aise kya challenges hain jo aane wale time mein agriculture agriculture mein and especially hydroponics sector mein aayenge and <laughs> what do you think can be the like possible solutions for it minimize the reason why hydroponics is not gaining uh, uh, popularity yet in our country is because uh, the cost is high so we are trying to work out on what are the various cost aspects then we are also tie uh, tying up with uh, various uh, planning to tie up with various marketing outlets and uh, even even uh, uh, and sell on our brand name and uh, such as uh, zomato or uh, big bazaar or whatever huh? so we will be selling it and making it available to people so aapko chahiye to aap khareed lena yahan se le lo and and organic fruits or uh, organic vegetables need not command a very high price as they are to, they are doing it now the reason why it is happening is because it is soil based agriculture so once when the soil is removed much of the pest problems will be vanished so we will integrate various uh, pesticides including plants so one plant can support another plant biologically in preventing one pest versus other pest so we will be coming up with an entire agro ecosystem uh, wherein we want to go a little bit further and uh, demonstrate that this world is a global village and when we say global village it is not just on economic parameters alone it can even be on environmental parameters that's what I, we want to showcase if if there is something some herb which is good for diabetic diabetes in say peru or brazil if we uh, source the seeds from there and add that into mm. our product so people can benefit all over the world it need not be at one place so one uh, we will we'll demonstrate how we can do it and then after 2 3 years of we uh, doing it you out the technology also to people and support them in achieving what they have to achieve if you are asking me about a budding entrepreneur not just in agriculture in life per se you should know you should have a never say die attitude i can tell you one story it from this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this concept and if you want to know more about such unique business ideas please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below in case you have any feedback or suggestions for us please feel free to comment down below thank you